My good friend Sophia McCarthy pointed out that Jose, you haven't made a video on the log source management app version 4, which I had installed, but the nice culprit of it is that the curator assistant actually I ran it once and, and updated my apps and I did not pay attention to it and I'm glad that she mentioned it to me because uh, there are so nice uh, features but before I proceed if you still look for your log sources using the old classic uh, icon I'm sure that you're going to be much better off by using uh, this uh, log sources app let's actually bring it up and uh, i made a video of version three of these and the link to it is in the description of this one but let's actually show uh, focus on the four features that are described in the new log sources app and actually we can see it here in the app exchange i should have read this when i updated mine you know that the columns are configurable that I can download selected pieces I can search for both local identifier and name on the search bar that's actually very nice and I can in the filter I have the option for coalescing so let's actually explore those uh, together let's start by looking for the, the combination of both uh, searches so if I, I can search for a log source by the name big fix but I know that the log source identifier of this one is actually the IP address so which is 172.16.60.180 in my demo system oh, sorry I did not 172.16 Oh, actually it found it even with that piece <laughs> impressive it's very nice so you can actually see that that's a nice way of actually searching for uh, device type let's actually see the other features let's actually click here on the gear and look at that I can now decide what tables what columns sorry I can put here in my view is pretty cool let's say that I want to have uh, modified date I want to look for the most recent one here and I can actually modify that in that way I want to sort them out for the newest one so here I have it very cool very nice the other feature was in the filter here we should be seeing a filter for coalescing and here it is yep I can see which one I'm doing coalescing and the last feature is this download button that allows me to for example for all these log sources that I have that I'm doing coalescing I wanna include all the data or just the data that I have displaying here let me actually only include the data I'm displaying so I'm doing a reporting or I want to communicate something to some members of of the team and let's actually see that so I downloaded a CSV file let me go to my download directory and look at it I was actually downloading the the, the log source management app and when I went went to install it it said no you already have it Jose uh, so here it is a nice CSV file with that view even all the columns the one that you not only the first page but all the columns in there in a nice spreadsheet that I can share with somebody else in let's say in the networking department or whoever else I'm working with so I hope that you switch to the new log sources app uh, I can tell you I, I did it took me a while because I'm a creature of habit and I was always you know going to that one but it's uh, far more clicks and it's a lot harder to find what you want than than this uh, new one it's actually I like this new common theme in, in curator apps in which you can do the nice filtering here on the left actually much better much more than look uh, let me make sure I cut it here so I keep the video under five minutes <laughs> 